How to prepare for the 2017 solar eclipse. What is an eclipse? An eclipse is when the Earth, Moon, and Sun line up in their orbital path. There are two types of eclipses, solar and lunar. The one you will be witnessing in August of 2017 will be a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse is when the Moon passes between the Earth and Sun. This causes the Moon to cover all of or some of the Sun, depending on the type of eclipse. While there are four types of eclipses, total, partial, annular, and hybrid, the one occurring in August will be a total eclipse. This means the Moon will completely blot out the Sun. Total eclipses only occur every 18 months or a year and a half. The eclipse over Casper, Wyoming is predicted to last 2 minutes and 26 seconds. People have been observing solar eclipses for thousands of years. For example, ancient Chinese records were found dating back to 1200 BC. The Babylonians also had recordings of observations of eclipses back in 911 BC. They used a type of writing called cuneiform to record their data and make their star charts. Ancient Chinese and Babylonians studied solar eclipses and have documented their observations of eclipses. The Chinese used a basin of water to watch the reflection of the sun to see the eclipse in the water. The first photograph of the solar eclipse was taken July 28, 1851. The materials needed to create your solar eclipse viewer include a marker, a box cutter, a box lid, a small welding filter lens, a ruler, and a roll of strong tape. First, trace around the welding glass with a sharpie. Then measure one fourth of an inch inward of the traced outline so that the welding glass doesn't fall through the cutout. Welding filter lenses can be purchased online or at your local welding supply store. We are using the darkest glass, called a Shade 14 filter lens. Thirdly, cut out the small outline. Finally, tape the welding glass to all four sides of the cutout. That's the ticket! Now you have your solar eclipse viewer. Looking at a solar eclipse with a naked eye burns the retinas, so you must use an alternate solution, like a pinhole projector to protect your eyes. Making a pinhole projector is easy. All you need is a marker, a shoebox, a piece of tin foil, a piece of paper, some tape, a pin or needle, and a box cutter. To start off, cut a hole in the end of the box and tape a piece of tin foil over it. Once this is done, poke a hole in the middle of the tin foil using the pin or needle. On the opposite side of the box, tape a piece of paper inside. Cut a hole in the box diagonally from the piece of paper inside the box so you can see the display when looking at the box through an angle. Hold the box to line up with its shadow, with your back to the sun. A bead of light will appear. When the eclipse takes place, the moon will project a shadow across the bead of light. When cutting your box, you must have adult supervision. Poke only one hole in the middle of the tin foil or else you won't be able to see the eclipse properly.
Do not remove your viewer and stare directly at the sun. Do not stare at the sun with your camera, binoculars, cell phone, or magnifying glass. Even though you have sunglasses on, do not stare directly at the sun. What are the effects of looking at the sun with binoculars, telescope, or camera? Um, so the concern with, um, with all of those is that you still are getting the potential direct light from the sun. So you can still get the solar radiation that can be damaging. Um, we worry most about the damage to the macula. Okay, um, why are your sunglasses not dark enough for a solar eclipse? So even though the sunglasses will take out the majority of the visible light that you see just for the protection and the comfort of the eyes, it's not taking out what can be harmful from the sun. So you still have um, the, the harmful infrared rays that you can be, um, have damage from, and then also the more intense visible light um, is not going to be filtered out enough to not cause damage to the back of the eye. So you're getting the UV protection, but not everything that you need in respect to keeping everything safe as far as the outlook. Is it a good idea to take pictures of a solar eclipse with your camera through a dark, dark filter lens? The only way as far as taking um, pictures with your camera is going to be if you wear um, uh, glasses with the protection for solar, which uh, there needs to be a CE rating for that, or if you have a filter that is specific to um, solar filter on there. So with the solar filter, it is fine. Otherwise, still looking directly in your camera, you can get the damage. How can your eyes be damaged by looking at the sun? So the damage from the radiation of the sun can actually affect the macula. The macula is the area of central vision. And actually in more recent years, our imaging has become pretty incredible to where we're actually able to kind of see that at a more finite level of looking at those cells that have been damaged. So we can image that now, and that's where a lot of the recent technology has helped us understand the true um, effects of the sun and the damage it can create. So that central vision can be affected long term by that. Um, and the unfortunate part is it may not, you may not notice that right away after the damage. It usually takes you know, several hours for you to kind of pick up on that damage. If there's no reversal of that, you know, maybe a little bit of improvement, but there's nothing that can be treated um, to help that in the future. So it is permanent damage. As an optometrist, what method of observation do you recommend? So the safest method is actually not looking directly and using a, a pinhole projection method, which they do, they line out really well on NASA website and it is easy to, to Google and find that method, but that is the safest, just never looking directly. Otherwise, it's truly getting the solar glasses that have the CE rating so that you're confident you're not going to have any damage occur. This eclipse will cover a 100 mile wide area of totality across Wyoming. The parks that it will pass over include Boysen, Hot Springs, Ednis K. Wilkins, Glendo, and Guernsey State Parks. For more information on this eclipse, please visit the following websites. The 2017 solar eclipse is one of the few that passes through the entire nation. The Casper area will show a total eclipse, while the other towns might only show a partial eclipse. Whether you visit Ennis K. Wilkins State Park in Casper, Glendo, Guernsey, or many other Wyoming state parks, you will have a great viewing place due to our clear skies and open spaces.